Hello and welcome to another beer review with me, Ruku. Today's beer review is the new beer. We've got a collaboration. Uh, this only came out literally at the time of filming this, probably only a few days ago, something like last week or whatever. Um, we have a collaboration between two unlikely breweries. Now, a lot of people are a little bit confused by this. Some are, we don't like the idea. Some people are like, yeah, this is a great idea. I think it's a good idea. I'm on the, the good idea side, if it's done properly. So here we have Practice What You Preach. And it's a collaboration between Brewdog and the Trap. So the Trap being the Dutch brewery and Brewdog being the Scottish brewery. Uh, as you can see, the bottle is pretty much modelled on the, the trap beers, i.e. the shape of the label and obviously you can still see the authentic trappist markings there. It says trappist with the, the coat of arms there on, on both sides. So this is a 330, it's a quadruple in style and is a lovely 10%. Uh, apparently this is brewed with Scottish heather honey so I'll be looking to try that. Um, apparently Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, right, so apparently they use American hops, but they don't state what hops it is, and they use Scottish heather honey. And it says brewed at the Trap Trappist Monastery in the fall of 2020. 10% exploration of past and present was developed over an early morning tasting at Brewdog's headquarters in Ellen. The name originates from the desire of both breweries to leave the world better than they found it. Therefore, part of the proceeds are donated to charity. So that's kind of cool. So they use water, malted barley, glucose syrup, honey, malted oat, hops, yeast and sugar. So practice what you preach then is basically being a message saying that we want to be eco-friendly, uh, we want to save the planet, uh, you've probably all heard about it in the fucking news, it's all over here about at the moment, it's driving me nuts. Um, right, let's just crack this open, so I'm looking forward to this and I, I've got a gut feeling. I haven't seen any reviews uh, on this, I haven't, this is my first ever time of trying this, so this is a blind test for me, as pretty much most of these beer reviews that I do are, but I can't help but think this will taste very similar to the trap quadrupel. I could be wrong. I'm just surmising, so don't quote me on it. There's your cap, I think that's something different. There's a peel there. And it's got like these honeycomb background to it on the blue there. It's like a honeycomb. Probably representing the honey from the you know the Scottish beauty. Okay let's do this. I'm looking forward to this. Well, it pours, it looks like, the little trap. The difference is, is the head. From what I can see, his head has got like a yellowy, light brown, off colour to it. I'm not sure what that is. So there we go, it's dark in appearance as the... I mean, you can see there it's like a, a reddy brown but then when you look there it's completely black and the head is of a, like a beige it's like a, a beigey I don't know what you call that like a corn colour you know like the I mean in this in this light it looks kind of white but when you're looking down on it it looks like a corn yellow colour almost you know I can't I can't explain it explain it but it, it does it looks like a corny yellow um, beigey colour. Can't see the carbonation because it's so dark, but I presume it's there. Small, tightly compact bubbles, fin head. There we go, you can see the fin head there. Oh, why am I looking forward to this? <laughs> the aromas smell quite sweet. Got a nice sweet aroma. Hints of malt. I think it could be the honey that I'm detecting on, on the nose there. I'm not 
not sure what that other aroma is. It has a familiar smell, but I can't put my finger on that. Uh, maybe it'll come to me later. Who knows? Right. Here we go. So it's a Brewdog and a Traps uh, collaboration. Looking forward to this. Cheers, everyone. Tell you what, the mouth feels beautiful. I've been bit on my arm by some fucking mat. It's itching like crazy. Oh man, I'm gonna tear my arm off later. A very foamy head expands all the way through the mouth. A very soft, gentle beer. warmth of alcohol but it comes and it goes as quick as it starts it's boom boom gone dark fruits a little bit of stickiness there dried fruits um, bitter hints of bitter there I don't know if I'm detecting the honey but you can taste a sweetness and I'm presuming that is the honey I, I couldn't tell you definitively if that is honey, but there is that sweetness. <coughs> oh, I felt burps, I have a good beer. The mouth feel soft, gentle, sticky, dried fruit, hints of hop, a bitter finish that then develops into. I want to say like a molasses nearly, the molasses dried fruit flavour. It's, it's on par with the, uh, the track called Repel, but there's, there's a vague subtle difference and this is a little bit more bitter. Than the track quadrupel. The track quadrupel is sweet, it's smallish, and it's a very boozy hit. This is almost if the track quadrupel was toned down, you've got more bitter there. It's not as boozy, and it's definitely not as sweet. However, this is still a good brew. I like it, and the more I'm drinking this, the more I'm getting more flavours coming in. And now my palate is left with even more bitter on the aftertaste. So uh, let's just have a look, see what we get. Oh. So it, and this is what it says. So I've missed a few things off. Um, it says here that it's, uh, it boasts rich dried fruit, which I've got. Sweet honey, which I think I've got. Uh, hints of citrus fruits, would never have said that. Uh, run subtly throughout, cutting through the sticky mouthfeel and balancing out the sweetness. Yeah, and that's where the bitter comes in. The bitterness does break up that sweetness. Um, but I would never have said in a million years, hints of citrus fruits. Couldn't get that. Couldn't get that. Um, the best stored between 10 and 14 degrees so don't put this in the fridge whatever you do do not chill it keep it at room temperature it enables uh, the flavors to develop because some people and I get it quite a lot people go hey, why are you drinking a beer at fucking 15 20 degrees because certain beers to be fair mature and they flavor better at warmer temperatures so do not stick this in the fridge um, yeah great beer um, <laughs> 3.3 .3 units in that, Christ, a bit boozy, um, what would I score that out of 10, I'm going to give it a, I would say a respectable 8.5, 8.5 out of 10 for me, the flavours are there, it's nice, and yeah, for the money paid, 
It's debatable. This was about a five or a bottle, so um, you can buy this on Brewdog's website. Uh, just for one bottle is like a fiver, or you can buy four bottles in a pack for about 20 quid. Uh, plus your, your posted packaging, which is about six quid. So shipping is about six quid. So yeah, it's a bit expensive. So for this, I think I paid around right about just 20 odd quid for, for one fucking bottle. But hey ho. Um, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It was worth a try, and I liked it. So hey ho. I've given it a thumbs up. Thank you so much, fans, for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, let me know if you've tried this or uh, if you plan to, because it'll be quite interesting to see what other people think about it. Give it time, more reviews will be out. So, thanks for watching, and it'll be nice to uh, compare. Cheers.